Hey, there's not another like video like this on YouTube, so I thought I would make this and quote Nikola Tesla directly on um, his position on Einstein's theories and uh, math and beliefs. There have been many times in several videos where I've uh, said something about Albert Einstein and people have come back in the comments and say, how could you dare say such a thing about such a brilliant man? And I will point out to them, oh, pardon me, dear sir or madam, I did not say that. What I in fact did was quote the great Nikola Tesla, the person who invented the modern world. And of course, we have another person who invented absolutely nothing. I don't want to really want to include the refrigerator invention that uh, he uh, actually co-opted. People say, well, he did invent something. Actually, he wasn't the first person to invent that. He was the guy that patented it. Anyway, it was regarding a refrigerator, you know, which of course nobody ascribes Albert Einstein to a uh, refrigerator invention. Um, so let's actually uh, quote Nikola Tesla directly about Albert Einstein. Quote, Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experimentation, and they wander off through equation after equation and eventually build a structure which has no relationship to reality. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and yet be quite insane. Well, you would say that this is not directly related to uh, a comment on Albert Einstein, but specifically, actually, Tesla was referring to Einstein in this quote, but hold on. This is Nikola Tesla also on relativity and Einstein. To say that in the presence of large bodies, space somehow becomes curved is equivalent to stating that something can act upon nothing. Space has no properties. I, for one, refuse to subscribe to such a view and belief." Unquote. Nikola Tesla on relativity. Relativity is a beggar wrapped in the purple robes of nobility for which ignorant people take for a king. The theory, he said, wraps all errors and fallacies and clothes them in the magnificent mathematical garb which fascinates, dazzles, and makes people blind to the underlying errors which they contain. This theory is like a beggar clothed in purple robes for whom ignorant people take as a king. Here's another one from uh, Tesla on Einstein. My conclusions differ from Einstein's, and to that extent they tend to disprove Einstein's theories. My explanations of natural phenomena are not so convoluted and involved as his. They are simpler, and when I'm ready to make a full announcement, it will be seen that I have proven my conclusions. Here is a, a poem Nikola Tesla, actually Nikola Tesla loved to write poems, interestingly enough, on uh, Einstein. And this is uh, Nikola Tesla's poem dedicated to the fool, Albert Einstein. Too bad, Sir Isaac Newton, they dimmed your renown and turned your great science upside down. Now a long-haired crank, Einstein, <laughs> a long-haired crank, a long-haired crank, Einstein by name, puts on your high teachings are all the blame. He says, matter and forces are transmutable and wrong the laws that you thought were immutable. I am much too ignorant, my son, for grasping crazy schemes so finely spun. It's a pretty beautiful poem. It's interesting that Nikola Tesla took his time out and dedicated his brain power to squeezing out a nice fine poem attacking the idiocy of uh, Sir Albert Einstein there. Here's another one on Tesla. The theory of relativity is a mass of errors and deceptive ideas violently opposed to the teachings of the great men of science of the past and even to common sense. Ooh, burn. There we go. Here's another one on Einstein. Once again, talking about the uh, purple robes analogy there. Einstein is a beggar dressed in purple clothes and made king using dazzling mathematics that obscure the truth. Here we go again on the relativity. Since action and reaction are coexistent, it follows that the supposed curvature of space is entirely impossible. And a couple more. The scientists from Franklin to Morse were clear thinkers and did not produce such erroneous theories. This is Nikola Tesla's commentary on Albert Einstein's uh, relativity. And lastly, my followers are of stronger mind. 
and I am content to stay behind. So there we go. That's actually one of a, a quite a pile of uh, now Nikola Tesla is famously not a vindictive person, but he did have a lot to say on uh, on uh, Sir Albert Einstein there. Um, here's some images I actually uh, made for my book. Uh, this one's a nice one. This is a real image, by the way. This is uh, Einstein at the beach wearing his uh, wife's uh, heels. And let's uh, let's take a look here. You got some sexy legs there, Mr. Einstein. Definitely so. Um, yeah, here we go. Einstein, by the way, in German, Einstein means one stone, which is uh, a reference to an idiot. When you say one stone, it, it's like saying someone's only got a couple marbles in their head. So I find it extremely interesting that Einstein means idiot. Um, so you got one person that most people never heard of. Everybody's heard of Einstein, but a lot of people today never like, who's Nikola Tesla? Who? Nikola Tesla. Who? <laughs> Especially when I grew up, nobody really heard of uh, Nikola Tesla. And uh, uh, very interestingly enough, here's a, a, a press publication. It came out in 2018, and it was quite a scandal. Um, well, it was to some people. I'll, I'll let you look the book up if you want to buy it. I love Princeton University Press, by the way. It's called The Travel Diaries of Albert Einstein. It was discovered, it, and I think it was hidden, actually. I think it was hidden on purpose. I can't prove that it was hidden on purpose, but I'm damn sure it was hidden on purpose. So Travel Diaries of Albert Einstein through the Far East, Palestine, and Spain, 1922-1923. Princeton University Press, very prestigious publication. And I don't even want to quote you the stuff that Albert Einstein said in his travel diaries. But they are incredibly heinous. Um, yeah, I would like you to take a take a screenshot of this. You could look this up if you like. Yeah, the contents are quite uh, eye peeling. Um, I don't want to actually quote Einstein on some of the stuff he said in his own personal travel diary. Yeah, they're pretty heinous. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a guy that invented nothing. He's got a crazy crackpot theory. It's uh, been mostly disproven. Space has absolutely no properties. It only has attributes. The, the fundamental error of relativity is it is atomistic, and it tries to reify space and time as things, which they're not. Time is not a thing. It's measure of magnitudes, and space has absolutely no properties. Nikola Tesla and, and far, far wiser minds uh, than uh, Einstein, way far as uh, farther uh, uh, more intelligent than Einstein knew this fact. Um, by the way, everything that Einstein is famous for in, uh, in some of the parts and pieces of uh, relativity were actually stolen from a person called Henri Poincaré, a very, very brilliant scientist. Look him up. Henri Poincaré. He actually got e equals mc squared from Henri Poincaré. And... Uh, yeah, everything that you uh, attribute to Einstein and his genius actually did not come from Einstein. Either it came from his wife, or it was stolen verbatim, word for word, from the works of Henri Poincaré. This is not my opinion, it's a fact. Um, check this book out. Uh, I got a copy of it that was loaned to me. I had to return it. You know, it's pretty boring. It's called The Travel Diaries of Albert Einstein, and it's pretty heinous. Yeah. It's Einstein in his own words. I bet he never thought people would get a hold of that book. But, uh, yep, this is the uh, brilliant man that uh, we were all taught was uh, such a genius. You know, Einstein, Einstein. If you actually look in the school textbooks today and back even when I was in school, it's, it's like a page or a page and a half or two pages dedicated to Einstein. And we'd be lucky if there's one sentence dedicated to uh, Nikola Tesla. Lucky. Maybe a paragraph at most, but definitely Einstein gets a page or two, so that's kind of a problem. You get everything you're using today is based upon uh, many of the countless, endless inventions of Nikola Tesla. Not a uh, fuzzy-haired crackpot. Quote-unquote Nikola Tesla, fuzzy-haired crackpot. That's my favorite one. Fuzzy-haired crackpot. I love it when I say that. People say, why are you attacking Einstein? It's like, I'm not. I'm actually quoting Nikola Tesla on Einstein. Oh, that's when they shut up. It's like, oh, no, you're, oh, so you're quoting Nikola Tesla about Einstein. Oh, well, that's different. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When I said Einstein was a fuzzy-haired crackpot and an idiot, what I'm actually doing is quoting 
Nikola Tesla himself. Yeah, the man, the legend. Yeah, the real inventor of the modern world. Okay?